The region of Peel in Ontario, Canada is a leader in environmentally responsible waste management, providing education, collection, processing, and disposal services for more than 375,000 households in the city of Mississauga, Brampton, and the town of Caledon. What you're going to see today is the Hoskinson Renewable Energy from Waste Technology in action. The region of Peel now for nearly 20 years has combined an aggressive program of recycling, composting, and energy from waste at the centerpiece of the region's plan to divert 70% of waste from landfill disposal by the year 2016. This will help reduce the growing financial and environmental costs of the landfill, and revenue generated through the sale of power, recyclable materials, and garden-ready compost will offset other waste management costs. Here's a closer look at how this region is making this work. The story begins here at the curb where the city picks up the garbage. Organic material including kitchen and yard waste and recyclables such as paper and plastic are collected in garbage trucks with two compartments. Each weekday, more than 180 trucks arrive at the region's landmark integrated waste management facility. Covering an area of the size of three and a half soccer fields, it can process nearly 300,000 metric tons of waste, organic material, and recyclables each year, making it the largest facility of its kind in Canada. Not far away, another 150,000 tons of waste is used to power a pioneering and proven renewable energy from waste facility owned and operated by Algonquin Power Income Fund. Inside, Waste from homes, businesses, and nearby Pearson International Airport is unloaded on a massive tipping floor and readied for pyrolytic gasification and combustion. Virtually any mixture of waste, including tires and up to 60% moisture content, may be used. Larger items and white goods are removed, while the remaining waste is hauled across the tipping floor to one of five gasification units, where hydraulic rams pack it into the primary chamber of each unit. For the next five hours or so, the waste is converted to a synthetic gas at temperatures at up to 850 degrees Celsius in a starved oxygen environment, which is designed to maximize the follow-on combustion and minimize the amount of material left over as ash. This synthetic gas is then fed into a secondary chamber. Here the gas is then combusted in an oxygen-rich environment where temperatures can reach 1100 degrees Celsius. The heat from this process is captured by heat recovery steam generator at the end of the secondary chamber. In seconds, the water is superheated and becomes high pressure steam, which is then piped directly to a steam turbine generator. As the steam passes through the turbine, it spins a generator that produces up to 9 megawatts of continuous electrical power. That's enough electricity from renewable sources to power up to 9,000 typical single-family homes in the region of Peel. Steam from the facility is also sold and piped to a local cardboard manufacturing plant, eliminating any need for the plant to generate its own steam supply from fossil fuels. The used steam is then piped back to the plant to be cooled and recirculated through the steam generator. This facility gasifies and combusts the majority of the waste it receives. By weight, a certain percentage of the waste fed into the units is left over as ash. Most of this is bottom ash. Upfront recycling can reduce this amount in newer units to about 5%. The ash is cooled and cleared from the primary chambers and then screened to remove ferrous materials such as iron and steel, which are then sold and recycled. The remaining bottom ash is inert and used as daily landfill cover. Bottom ash can also be used as a replacement for conventional aggregates in construction materials such as asphalt, like the road and the parking lot services at the region's integrated waste management facility. Potential airborne byproducts from the gasification and combustion process are passed through a cooling tower and then injected with dry lime and activated carbon. The lime helps reduce acid gases while the activated carbon traps any remaining heavy metals such as mercury and lead. These gases then move through a four-story tall bag house where more than 2,000 fiberglass bags trap particulate matter. The particulates can be mixed with bottom ash for safe disposal. The remaining gases are treated in a selective catalytic converter. This process removes nitrous oxides, which is a gas that contributes to global warming. 
A selective catalytic converter can also help strip minute amounts of toxins, such as dioxins and furons, that may be present in the exhaust gases prior to leaving the facility. This energy from waste facility using Hoskinson's technology has been in operation since 1992. Algonquin Power has continued to upgrade equipment and its processes, ensuring that emissions remain far below the stringent limits set by the Ontario Ministry of the Environment. The region of Peel is also proud of its commitment to leading-edge renewable energy from waste and recycling technologies, and of the ongoing efforts of its residents in each city and town to reduce their impact on the environment. They build on their success by watching what they put in the garbage. Things like printed paper, newspaper and magazines, plastic tubs, bottles, jugs and jars, empty aerosol cans and paint cans, cardboard boxes, metal food and beverage containers, glass bottles and cartons should all be put in the blue bin for recycling. Inorganic materials such as food waste and paper plates, facial tissues and paper towels can all go into the green bin so they can be processed into compost. Today, everyone works together to make the region of Peel a better place to live, work, and play.